Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday, 26 March, getting towards the end of the month. Um, let's take a look at the stock market first and foremost here. ES went up to 25.60 yesterday. That was a bit hysterical. Uh, if you were lucky enough to sell on the 25 handle, that was excellent. We actually did sell some uh, between 25 and 40, but then we got stopped out uh, just near the high, which was really unfortunate in our tactical book. Um, but we will still try and uh, get short risk going forward today, I think around 25.10. Obviously, the Senate unanimously passed the largest ever rescue package. Uh, the House will vote on Friday. Schumer, uh, the boomer, is saying that um, there's going to be even more stimulus down the line. A fourth, a fourth stimulus package is ready if needed. So it's just a an avalanche of stimulus here. But I don't think these people get it. Um, this kind of stimulus is not going to uh, save the day. In fact, uh, two things are happening here. You gotta pay the piper even if you're borrowing at zero interest rates uh, say you go out and buy uh, 32 Hermes handbags and you borrow um, 300 grand for that at zero interest great you don't have to pay any interest but you still have to pay the 320 grand back uh, and so this debt burden is not great for an economy which is already I think um, not the most robust so I'm worried. Uh, I'm worried uh, the virus starts this, uh, but I think there's trouble ahead. So we're still sellers of risk. Let's look at uh, Boons. You got to recycle, right? Hopefully you were recycling on the 169 handle. You want to resell this stuff. Um, we're actually going to sell probably between 170.30 and 171.30 today. Um, or short fixed income still uh, on our frontal lobe. This is not a chips to the center of the table position, which at minus 90 basis points it was. This is still trade on the short side. Be prepared for plenty of up moves, plenty of down moves. The trend is lower in price, higher in yield, um, and we're just, just trying to take advantage of that trend. Um, as far as currencies are concerned, weakening dollar theme is still in play. We have this uh, nagging fear about month end and these threatened big dollar buying programs that are not going to come in. So we're wary of that. Um, but core short dollars is the way forward. You can see euro dollar traded up to 33. We've had one, two, three, four five green bars now well today's starting green tricky green though right these are big tail green big vol green very tricky um, holding this position um, but you should have some core short dollars on this I think is gonna you know eventually get up to 115 and probably get to 120 is our target so it's early days here uh, and we don't there's no reason this can't go back to 106 in the next four days with the volatility the way it is a 300 point down move with a huge dollar buy program is not out of the question so but we do like core short dollars going forward our favorite of course is dollar Swiss um, even though we're not that great at trading it uh, mainly because we like risk off as well so this is basically euro dollar with more of a risk off uh, kicker to it. Uh, we're here mid 97 handle. You know, it's not really doing a whole hell of a lot. This is basically euro dollar with less fall. So, you know, you can sell this between 70 and 20 uh, if you're not core short yet. We don't think this is going to get above 99. Um, but yet we still have to understand that if there's a one-off flow in low liquidity, the dollar could go anywhere uh, in the next four days. Uh, and then hopefully things will calm down. Dollar yen, we have no we have no fucking idea. Yesterday we were sure 111.70 was gonna trade. 65 was the high. Um, now 
now we're 100 points lower, two dojis. Lower low on the dailies, technically speaking, this is incredibly bearish. Um, this trend line kind of broke. I don't know, dollar yen's been, been a pain in the ass recently, so, uh, but it looks like it's turned. Um, and so as sure as we were, uh, the dollar was gonna go higher yesterday against the yen, now we're not so sure and it looks like it's gonna go lower. Like maybe we should just avoid dollar yen. Uh, Aussie smacked uh, after that big huge move up move yesterday. See this uh, daily bar is very very bearish. Gravestone Doji um, now a lower low on the dailies. Aussie looks quite negative. Aussie Yen similar similar bar. Everyone got super bullish as did we through 65.65 gave us 220 points um, now if you own Aussie N, I'd be a bit worried you can see a theme here right with this kind of volatility take the money and run go on take the money and run it's tough to marry things here because the volatility is so hectic and the liquidity is so low so Aussie and Aussie N look like they've turned our old friend or nemesis gold uh, 15 the low yesterday we're looking for support here at the figure um, and this is our sort of QE our cute QE uh, vehicle that we botched um, by not buying through 1520 uh, two days ago but be that as may we will still try and pick up some gold um, 1600 looks like an interesting place today this is the this is the gold futures. I think we're I think I trade G C J, uh, which is the front month in gold right now. Z M same same song. We're selling high ones anywhere on the one thirty eight handle. I think you can sell, but you need powder to be able to sell back on one thirty nine. All this stimulus is going to reflect itself uh, in fixed income. Uh, Eventually, there'll be an avalanche of selling. Right now, don't expect that avalanche because you know the Fed's in there buying every day. And so um, you want to fade the Fed. It's fun to say that, but normally that doesn't pay, so be very careful. Uh, historically, over my career, fading the Fed does not pay. Uh, but here we are, um, spitting into the wind, fading the Fed in fixed income. Finally, crude... <laughs> We got a nice setup here uh, for longs. Big consolidation basically between 25 and, and 21. Above 25, 25, we will um, we will try longs. I think it's an important uh, technical point. I don't pretend to understand um, the supply demand dynamics of crude. I know demand sucks right now, and the supply is run by a bunch of criminals uh, from. I would say criminal states uh, talking about you Russia and Saudi Arabia um, but again just chart wise um, which is what we lean on certainly in FX and I'm not sure we should be doing it as much in crude but 25 above a, a daily close above 25 25 uh, looks pretty nice Anyway, we've got BOE today. We got UK retail sales. Uh, Sterling's in the middle of nowhere now. Yesterday was wow. That was pretty hectic, right? Um, one sixteen seventy, then all the way down. I mean, one nineteen seventy, then all the way down to one sixteen thirty three. Quick three hundred point journey, and then slammed back up to one nineteen sixteen. Last night back down to 117.88. I mean, we want we we've been asking for vol for years. Here you go, Bobby. Here is some fucking vol, cable, um, thin, thin as a wisp, and just jumping around, 300 points every day. Boe today, they're gonna do something dovish. How the market reacts to that, it's not super clear. Um, 
just hold on to your hats and cable basically we don't have a real strong view here um, but you want to just try and trade the edges right so it should be one more trip up to up to 120 for resistance will be our third trip um, the downside looks like it's in actually uh, but you know what are you gonna do you can't be long and leave a 500 point stop so tough tough stuff uh, so what's the focus today? We're going to try and sell risk uh, on the 25 handle in, in ES. Um, and we're going to wait and watch for these jobless claims numbers, which if it comes out above 2 million, um, 8.30 Eastern Standard, we'll be selling risk on that. And we'll be watching for the BOE. Uh, see how dovish they are. I think the more action they take, the better it is for the currency. So we'll be looking for sort of maybe contrarian view on that. The more dovish they are, um, we'll try and fade the knee-jerk sell in cable. Uh, and finally, we're watching to buy gold at 1600 and then we're watching these, this crude level at 2525. The big important levels, as you can see, are not close. Um, if you want to nimbly trade or trade around stuff, that's cool. Uh, but also remember, be patient. One of the great things about a volatile market is it's volatile, so you got plenty of opportunities. Um, wait for the perfect setups. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.